Hi, this is Cheryl Beckrich, and today I am going to show you the way that I swatch. I like to cast on the same number of stitches and knit the same number of rows whenever I do a swatch because it just makes it easier for me to remember. So I always cast on 36 stitches and I'll do the first three and the last three in garter stitch and the 30 in between in stockinette. Then I also do 30 rows in stockinette and do some garter stitch at the top and at the bottom. Um, like I said, I do this because then I don't necessarily have to write it down. It's consistent and I know it's always 30 stitches and 30 rows. It's great to do garter stitch on the edge because that keeps it from lay, it keeps it laying flat. And you also want to treat your swatch just like you would treat your finished garment, sweater, shawl, whatever it is. This particular yarn is wool and it's a super wash. And the label said to um, get it wet with cool water and lay flat to dry. A lot of times super wash will say tumble dryer and dryer, but I just do whatever the label says. So I knit this swatch and I wrote down what I did with a size six needle, size six US, four millimeter needle, 30 stitches and 30 rows. Now to get the gauge measurement, I will measure the area that is in stockinette and not in, in um, the garter stitch. So I'll just measure from one edge to the other. And with the size six needle, now I'm measuring just slightly more than this, but I'm gonna go with what I had said previously because that's how my math is. But with the size six needle, 30 stitches is six inches and 30 rows I had measured as 4.125 inches. And that's what I'm getting now too. So with size six needle, 30 stitches divided by six inches. So you take the number of stitches divided by the number of inches and that gets you five stitches per inch. A lot of times on the yarn band or on the pattern, it will give you the number of stitches for four inches. So you just multiply that number times four and we get 20 stitches in four inches. Same thing for the rows. We had 30 rows, 4.125 inches. So you divide 30 by 4.125, which gets you 7.27 rows per inch. Multiply that times four, 29.1 rows in four inches. I've got another swatch that I did the same thing and I went up a needle size. I kind of like the fabric a little bit better. It's a little bit looser, so I think it'll give a nicer drape. So with the size seven needles, the measurements are not all that much different, but they are enough that it will make a difference on a sweater. So with the size seven needle, 30 stitches, it was 6.25 stitches per or 6.25 inches, which gave 4.8 stitches per inch where the size six was five. So they're pretty close, but as I said, over the body of the sweater, that does make a difference. And the row gauge was a little bit smaller too. 30 rows, 4.25 inches is 7.05 rows per inch and multiply that times four and it's 28.2 rows per inch. Now, just to give you a comparison, with 200 stitches, and you know, a sweater might be 200, it might be 250 or 300, but we just took 200 stitches just as an example. With the size seven needle and the stitch gauge for the size seven needle, we took the number of stitches divided by the stitch gauge, that would be 41.66 inches. If you use the size six, you lose an inch and a half, 200 stitches divided by five, and see that five and 4.8 are pretty darn close, but it does make a difference. So the 200 divided by five is just 40 inches. So 
So as I said, you lose an inch and a half, a little bit more than that with the smaller needle size. On the row gauge, it didn't make quite as much difference. And as the numbers get higher, um, the amount of inches difference gets smaller. So with the size seven needle, 200 rows, divided by 7.05, which was the row gauge on the size seven, the garment would be 28 inches long. And with the size six needle, 200 rows divided by 7.27 would be 27 and a half inches. So only a half inch difference on the row gauge, but an inch and a half on the stitch gauge. Always, always, always good to swatch if it's something that needs to fit. Not so important on a shawl or a scarf unless you are really concerned about the exact size that it comes out. So it may be smaller or larger, but it's probably not going to make a, little, a lot of difference. If you have to wear it though, an inch and a half or three inches or five inches, which you know sometimes it is that much with a small row gauge or a small stitch gauge difference, makes a difference on how the garment is going to fit the person who's wearing it. So always, always, always swatch if you're knitting something that needs to fit. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time and happy knitting. Bye!